Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. Today we're in week three of our declutter challenge. If you haven't already, send me an email and I'll send you a printable of the six month schedule. This will help you know what's coming next. My email address is down in the description box. This week we're going to be working on the kids chest of drawers. If you're like me and you don't have little ones living in your home, then you can maybe plan on working on the drawers in your guest room or in a craft room. These are the guidelines that I follow when I'm decluttering and organizing drawers. Number one, I purge the drawers of clothes and baby products. These are the things that they're no longer wearing. And number two, I refrain from using the drawers for storing outgrown clothes. Number three, buy containers that will fit the drawers. Number four, categorize like items together. Number five, file fold the clothes and the blankets. Okay, so we're starting this video over at my youngest daughter's home. And she'll show us how she organizes her two daughters' drawers. And later in the video, we'll head back to my house to organize a shelving unit that I want to store baby essentials in. This top drawer is designated for the newborn's baby clothes. The containers we're using are from Ikea. We're lucky enough to have one down the road from us, but I have linked in my description box containers that are very similar to these and can be bought in several colors. We hoped that we'd be able to add another larger box, but it isn't going to fit here. So we'll make do with the half box. And it ends up working out better anyway, because we ended up needing the long spot on the right for a couple of the swaddles and the cloth diapers. Folding clothes where they can be stored standing up is the best system. This is called file folding. With this, you're able to see everything that you have and it's very easy to take out what you need without having to disturb the clothes around them. I know it seems like she has a lot of stuff for a newborn, but in reality, she's organizing these drawers for zero to nine months. Sadly, she's already pulling out the newborn clothes to store away because Waverly has already outgrown them. Here it is. Doesn't it look awesome? And what is even better than the way that it looks is its ease of function. She can see where everything is without having to move things around to get to it. Okay, we're going to take a quick peek at Big Sister's drawer just below. In here she has her leggings, long and short sleeve t-shirts, her socks, and her one-piece jumpsuits. 
One thing about my daughter is she chooses to dress her girls in comfy clothes that they can play in. So anything dressy is hung up in their closets. Big sister's about to be potty trained, so we left a little box here to put her little panties in. Before I head back to my house to work on my cabinet, I want to show you how big little Waverly's getting. She's already three weeks old and is so precious. Like her sister, she prefers to sleep in this bouncer on her side rather than her back. She's such a little baby doll. Okay, we're back at my house. We're inside my guest room that I also have set up for my grandbabies. I have this cabinet that's just been gathering a hodgepodge of things in it, and I wanna go ahead and organize it for my grandkids' essentials. Currently, I have three grandbabies in three different size diapers, and I also have one that wears pull-ups to take naps in. So, I wanna fill this cabinet with all their diapers and the essentials that I use when they're here. I already had these containers and decided to repurpose them for this cabinet. They match the decor nicely. I think I'll put the diapers in the containers. This will make it easy to pull out and get the size that I need. I thought that they would all fit in this way, but I need to rearrange the diapers so that they fit in the other way. No biggie, it all works out. Okay, they're fitting in here nicely now. I'm also gonna go ahead and add in the crib and the porta crib sheets and a few other things we use. I hope that you're enjoying this series. Don't forget to email me and I'll send you a printable of the six month schedule. I'm also gonna start posting a breakdown of my zone cleaning and how I tweak it to better suit my lifestyle and the size of my home. If you're following along each week, you will have the information that you need to keep a decluttered and tidy home. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post. I want to thank you for visiting me today. Please leave me a comment below because I love hearing from you. I'll see you soon. Stay blessed, my friends.